you know what I mean? Now your no hope builds. I mean, these would also work on Nightmare since you get the entire deck. So it really doesn't make, you know, too much of a difference. The order of the cards, it just matters, you know, if you have the correct cards in the deck. So it should make it real easy to see like a good idea, you know what I mean, of what you should be kind of doing with each build. Now, this card right here, Soft and Up, this card is new. You know what I mean? I haven't really used this one too much. Melee hits cause the target to deal 3% reduced damage to a maximum of 15% reduced damage. So, this is like a breaker card. So, you know, when you're fighting the breaker, you can get in there with enough melee speed, I would imagine, and just beat him down, beat him down to the point to where he just does no damage. Hold on, let me move this camera up. here I'll just make that a little bit bigger okay so yeah use that on the breaker I'd imagine that'd be fire so I'm actually keep that in the deck so we can give that a test out today so I'm gonna be doing some totem farming so I'm gonna pretty much buy everything that that totem store has to offer I'm just gonna grind a bunch of totems on like veteran probably recruit and uh, if you use the method that I'm going to use, then there should be nobody that'll join. Meaning that you'll always have three bots. And you know, the bots, no matter how fast you're running or what you skip or anything like that, the bots are always going to teleport to you. So, you know, having those bots makes it a lot easier to uh, just run through and grab the totems, especially if you already know exactly where they spawn. You know I mean, you don't got to really worry about people going down the bots will grab the reses and they'll even have like ammo for you too and they'll heal you on top of that so now again the no hope builds those will pretty much work on anything you know what i mean since you get the entire deck now so really like there's no difference between like my night builds and my no hope builds these night builds which were for nightmare previously these are just in order you know what i mean of what cards you want to have but it's still pretty much like the same cards that you would have in the No Hope deck, you know, give or take a couple. But, uh, you know what I mean? Now, since you get all of them anyways, the order of these really don't matter. But you would still pretty much have the same cards, you know what I mean, that you would be using on No Hope in your Nightmare deck, just in a better order. But, I mean, even still, you know what I mean? If you want to take the decks that I was using for Nightmare, you know what I mean, and just kind of turn those around how you want you could even still do that because i'm probably going to uh clean up a clean up a lot of my decks on these and like revise them so that way i just have you know what i mean like full deck builds and yeah i'm actually do that too and i'm gonna make sure i post this to youtube so i'll be able to have you know what i mean so everybody that doesn't tune into the stream you'll be able to 100% see everything that we got going on with this new way to pay uh, back for blood. New way to play back for blood. Alright, and these custom builds, these are just ones that I built today, so what we're gonna do delete, 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 delete. <laughs> I delete all of them. Deck number one is going to be for totems. Let me get a bunch of speed. Then we're going to go with the meth head brazen. Uh, don't need weak spot damage. Might even get cardio. Get breakout. Marathon runner. Mandatory PT. And since you get all the cards, you know what I mean? It just, oh my lord. It just makes it so easy. Yeah, dash. Locked up. By the time I get to like where I need to start adding more of the melee cards, I'm I'm gonna switch some of these out. Natural sprinter. 
don't need down in front for casual. Really don't even need amped up, but I'm going to get it anyways. So let's do, let's do this. Then we're going to need weapon scavenger. So let's do this. We're going to need combat knife. So let's do that. Gonna grab Mean Drunk now that that's fucking broken. No, I think I'm gonna take off Breakout. I really want Berserker. Can I fit that? I probably could take off a little bit of this and go Berserker. And that's it right there. Just. Oh, wait, no, I need Battle Whip. Oh, wait, hold on. That is not it. Take that off. I kind of want to face your fears. Yeah, we're gonna take this off. I think that's it right there. Could get numb to add a little bit of spice to it or defensive maneuver, but yeah, I think this is it. We're gonna name this totems. Huh? Next build, we're gonna do a little healer build. And uh, you'll notice that I'll pretty much always get the speed, rhythmic breathing, and then mad dash. I feel like these five cards right here are all you need to be able to uh, dodge through any zombies on any difficulty. So let's go over here to the heels. Gotta get down in front. All right, experience MT, old tease. Medical professional. EMT bag. I think we need some use speed. Survive speed. Oh uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do the medical expert just for the one trauma to the target plus the healing efficiency. I think that'd be really good. Here. We're gonna go fanny and shoulder bag. It is a fiddle. I wanna get a money card just to afford more of the uh, heals on this build. I think that'd be really good. Just don't know. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna get money grabbers. Oh, yeah. Now I think it might be beneficial to just get another heal card, because I mean money will come and go. Or I could even get support scavenger. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Yeah, we'll go with this right here. I think this is a very solid build. Now obviously you can go with like more heals. You know, there's fucking. Let me see. I don't think group therapy, but if you wanted to get inspiring sacrifice, actually, that is exactly what I'm going to get. But see, fit is a fiddle. If a couple of people have this, dude, it is so good. Like at least two people. It's good. I think I'm going to go with inspiring sacrifice, though, just to make it a lot easier if people go down. Because you'll get full healed instantly, so. Name that heals. I'm gonna make me a damage deck. Same concept. And then we're gonna do a sniper one to start off because I like using gem for damage. Gem is just way too serious. So we're gonna get our weak spot. Now, I think for AR, I'm going to do glass cannon, but for gem, I think I'm just going, eh, you know what? We'll try it out. 
Because glass cannon actually does make like a huge difference. Like a big, big difference. And you can down in front. Patient hunter. Overprotective. I think I'm going to do hydration pack because it's like I really don't want to lose the stamina. And I mean, you lose the 30 health, like, I don't know, I think it's percentage. Yeah, you lose 30% health, so. We'll try it out like that. Because, I mean, ammo, like, you know what I mean? Obviously, having ammo is good, but having stamina is good, too. And then, what I'm gonna do. Okay. We're gonna do Confident Killer. Because this shit adds up. The 1% damage, that shit adds up for show skis. I think actually what I might do... Nah, nah, I'm gonna keep the 10%. Because the 10% plus the 15%, that's an extra 25. Then you're getting another 25%. So that's another 50% damage just from Glass Cannon. Patient Hunter, that is another... 30% bullet damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this might be really good, huh? I mean, I could get Knowledge's Power. That's plus 10%, but this is plus 30%. Hmm. Avenge the Fallen is really, really good, too. That's another flat 30% damage for uh, 10 seconds. That's if somebody goes down, though. Accuracy is good, too. I could take the 10% weak spot damage from that. I know also what I could do. I could take off the Rhythmic. Yeah, I mean, I might be running out of stamina quick, but that would give me just a little bit more damage I could put on there. Hmm. I think I'm going to do it. I'm thinking, uh, thinking front sight focus. Make sure there's not anything. Better each bullet. Yeah, I think Shredder is it. Yeah, we're gonna get Shredder. Alright, we're gonna call this Sniper. Alright, now let's do an AR. is going to be a little bit the same. Like, we're going to get the weak spot damage. But we're not going to get that sniper pouch. We're going to get... Where is it at? See, I don't want to get this little booty ammo pouch. I believe there's one for ARs, though. I think it's called tactical vest. Oh, there it is. Grab this. Gonna grab this. Gonna grab this. Gonna grab the shredder. I think we're gonna leave ga glass cannon off of this one. Large caliber. Knowledge is power. Overprotective. Okay. 
really want to get like confident killer on this build too because that confident killer that shit adds up because you fight so many mutations that after like the first probably like three encounters you know what i mean you already have an extra 15 percent damage right there I'll do the same thing. I'll take it off there and we'll do this. And that's a bet. Okay. Totem, seal, sniper, AR. I'm going to do a grenade build. I think I also need uh I think I also need face your fears. No, no, I don't think I need it. I think you just need pyro. Yep, so three temporary health, and then you'll have the pumped up to keep temporary health. And then this also spawns additional pain meds. Yep, there we go. We'll just call this one Pyro. Okay. Gonna need a melee build. from over here. Okay, I believe so. Let's move on. Gonna need this. We'll take that. Take mean drunk. Berserker. Face your fears, battle lust. Oh, we missed Vanguard. Vanguard. And I believe that is what we need. I think what I'm gonna do though. So I'm gonna take off overprotective and I'm gonna throw on numb. I also want to. wondering if I should get pumped up or if I should get um hold on. it was just in my head it would have been genius the pumped up is good or you can get hunkered down which is damage resistance while you're crouching and that's good because if you're using holly that's another 20% damage resistance just for crouching and you know what I sold myself. Did I sell myself? Yeah, I sold myself. <laughs> All right, we'll try this one. And if the crouching doesn't make a difference, then what I'll do is take that one off and then I'll put pumped up. So then I'll just have temporary health for longer. 
But I believe with using Holly, this hunker down method is really good. We're gonna call this one melee. Holly. And this would be a good one for uh, Evangelo. So either Holly or Evangelo I would use for this melee Holly one. That one's really good. So I'm gonna make like a melee, make like a melee Sharice one. So I'm gonna do this. Grab that. Meth head brazen. Adrenaline fuel. And see the difference with this one. This one's gonna be more directed towards like like using an axe. So like, I'm gonna be trying to kill mutations with uh Charisse. We're gonna do that. And thing is, it's like swinging the axe, it uses so much more stamina. So I'm gonna actually throw energy bar on. Okay, Vanguard. Knife. I need battle lust, facial fears. Okay, then I'm gonna throw on her. Where's it at? All right, ignore the pain. I'm trying to think, should we get heavy hitter? Heavy hitter is extremely good against like tall boys and shit. Or I'm thinking Sunder. Because each time you attack them, you know what I mean? You'll just start doing more and more damage. So after like two hits, they're like for sure dead. I'm gonna get mean drunk. I think what I'm gonna do. See, I would take off rhythmic breathing, but you really, really need that. Like with the axe. So, you know, I think I'm gonna go with this. I think this is good. Call this one Melee Sharice. And what I'm doing is I'm just revising all of my builds. Like, since you get the entire deck now, you really don't need like a, a no hope build or like a nightmare build. It's really all the same thing. So now you just need like variations. You know what I mean? Of what you want to do with which character. We got Totems, Heal, Sniper, AR, Pyro, Melee Holly, Melee Sharice. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do like a. What the hell was I just thinking? Oh, I'm going to do like a money build. Like if you want to get copper and shit. This. We'll do that. We'll do this. Alright, let's go to the money. Let's do copper scav. Hazard pay. Money grubbers and lucky pennies. Like, you're going to be making so much money. So much money. Uh, I'm debating compound interest, too. That would be just OP. Yeah, we'll do compound interest. What does that leave us with? Five cards. So we'll do... We'll do bomb squad. Grenade pouch. And then we'll also do... Oh, shit, I gotta get down in front. Damn, that leaves an extra card off. So I'll have to, I'll probably take off one of the money cards. But I think I'm going to have grenades. And then I'm going to also have heals. That'd be OP, right? A little bit of both. We'll do that. Wait, do I need two? No, I'll just, I'll just do EMT bag. And then we'll throw on fanny pack. So I'll be able to carry... Multiple grenades. Multiple heals. And then with the money, you should be able to afford, like, upgrades. You know what I mean? To buy, like, an extra slot or, like, upgrade your, uh, upgrade your heals or your nades. Whenever your team moves copper, you have a 35% chance to find 35% additional copper. That's really good. Each time your team loots copper, you gain three additional copper up to 25 times. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take that one off. Okay. And then I think, all right, we need one more use for this build. We got a heal in there. We got a nade in there. What's one more thing we could do? I'm thinking, no, 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 it's not a good idea. Uh, see, I was almost thinking like stealthy passage, right? Since I'm just gonna be using heals and nades. And then, you know what I mean? I'll just be able to, no, no, no. I don't think there's not, I don't think there's enough things that they put in the game that are like stealthy passage worthy to really like justify getting that card, if that makes sense. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do. Cause I wanna do something that like provides use to the team. I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna do belt clip. Or maybe uh, yeah, I'm gonna do safe from recovery. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Okay. And we'll just call this the uh well, this is the copper build. So we got the speed, copper gainage, usage, heals, and bomb squad. Oh yeah. This build might be pretty OP. Call this copper. Okay. Totem Heal, Sniper, AR, Pyro, Melee Holly, Melee Sharice, Copper. Now, if I'm going to be helping people through Nightmare, because I already have all the SWATs. I have pretty much every skin in the game. I pretty much got everything. I just need to uh, grind some of the totems so I can get some of the shit out of the totem store. I don't have all those things yet, but I'm getting there, though. But yeah, if I'm going to be helping people through Nightmare, I'm about to just do a speed build as well. So that way I can make sure we always uh, complete everything. Yeah, I'm definitely getting breakout on this one too. So you know what I mean? You're speeding ahead and like one little fucking sleeper or something doesn't end your game right there. Okay. Got us some speed. We're gonna go down in front. Natural sprinter. I think I'm gonna get amped up on this too. I'm gonna get some damage resistance. And then I just need uh, inventory spots. Yeah, that's it right there. That's all you need for speed. Just some speed, a little bit of defense, and then, you know what I mean? Be able to carry like two pipe bombs, be able to carry like two pain pills, and you're chilling. And even, even with this build, you know what I mean? I'm not even moving all that fast because I'm going to have amped up too. I really could take that off and probably put like a different speed card in there. Which I think that's exactly what I'm going to do now that I think about it. Or I could even go with like a more defensive type of card. It just kind of depends on the person. So like for me, you know what I mean? I already kind of know all the spots. I could run around, juke and shit. So I might just go with like True Grit. Can heal every time you take a single hit for more than 15 or more damage. You'll always take a hit for more than 15 on Nightmare. That's for sure. I think I'm going to do something like... I might just do Hellfire. percent movement speed while using the SMG. I think I can do that. All right, we'll take that. All right, speed. Okay, what are we leaving out? We're gonna do a, oh yeah, I know what kind of build I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a team effects build. <laughs> and, it, and it's so fun because like you really don't do anything. 
There's just gonna be a bunch of team effects. Um, I think I'm gonna be a little bit faster for this build. Alright. Spiring Sacrifice. Oh no, Binge the Fallen. On your mark? On your mark. I need down in front. Amped up. Weapon scavenger. Save from recovery, share the wall. No, actually, no, I'm not going to do this build. <laughs> it is a fun build, but I think it's just kind of pointless when you could just have all the cards. You know what I mean? You could do more OP builds than that. Hmm. I could do, like, a mom build, or I could do, like, a uh, like a shotgun build, too. But I don't really use shotguns that much. So I think I'm going to just go with this. All right. And that's all the uh, and that's all the decks I feel like you pretty much need: totem seal, sniper, AR, pyro, melee, copper, speed. You know what I mean? Like, what what more do you need? What more? Then I'm gonna show you a way to grind the totems without actually having to uh, to have people join. So you go to preferences, you put it on no voice, and then you turn crossplay off. And then once you uh, once you get in the game, you'll get three bots, and then you'll pretty much never ever have anybody join. So you always have three bots. And then you know you could just uh, speed on through it. Super simple. 